Good morning, degenerates, and welcome to another episode of Boring Crypto IO, the place where I read you the boring crypto news every morning, Monday through Friday, just so you don't have to. My name is Not Important, and I'm your host. Let's go. U.S. DOJ is concerned about a run on Binance should prosecutors bring fraud charges. Um, yep, they're the one bringing the charges. Why are they concerned? Maybe this is what they want to do. It's a very odd article or headline for an article. Once, Hence, the DOJ is the one who's bringing charges against Binance. And then they're concerned about a potential run on Binance. What? Anyways. Moving on, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders urged closure of $5 billion crypto tax gap. I find it funny that these guys even get backers, like in the general public. These are people literally fighting to get more tax dollars for themselves. And people vote for these people. I would like to ask any one of you that are watching this channel, do you guys want more ta taxes? <laughs> what is wrong with people? more taxes to make politicians wealthy sweet and last but not least elon musk tweets and twitter bot spam influences altcoin prices says study not a lot of interesting news going on today guys at least that i could find um so it's gonna be kind of boring but hence the name boring crypto news all right let's go ahead and rock and roll to the market current market cap sitting at 1.16 trillion ticking down from yesterday Current Bitcoin dominance sitting at 48.7%, ETH dominance 18.9%, and 15 GUI will get you an ETH transaction. We are sitting almost dead neutral on the fear and greed at 51. Uh, at the look at it right about now, at the looks of it right about now, uh, guys looking at about a potentially a red day. Um, if Bitcoin does get a bounce, this could flip into a green day though. We're going to look at that here shortly. Um, but fours, fives, sixes. Um, ones ones to sixes is kind of what I'm seeing across the board for the majority. Uh, let's see if anybody's flipping green. H bar is flipping green four and a half percent. Do, 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 do. XDC pumping 10.82. Yeah, 4.29 down for Satoshi's vision. CFX up four percent. Compound down 7.37%. Sui down 6. Yep, that's about it. All right, again, looking looking pretty red across the board, guys. Um, if Bitcoin holds this bounce, we're going to look at, um, we could flip to a green day. Um, and maybe just range again, up back up to potentially 30 grand. Okay, so Bitcoin 4 hour, um, where I left you guys yesterday. It's kind of like right after this pump and I was saying it was looking bullish. I think we had just rolled over and we're bouncing off of this, uh, the top of this sideways movement from last week. Um, and we rolled over completely. Uh, so I always say be prepared for either for both, both types of moves, an up move or a down move. Um, and we did roll over, uh, even though it, I thought it looked a little bit bullish cause we were set up kind of like a, a retest i was hoping we were going to bounce off of potentially that 29.3 and, and go back up but here's what's interesting and this is why i keep things simple guys with um sometimes patterns mostly just support and resistance levels on the four hour we hit 30 and retraced came back down to the top of that sideways move it bear flag whatever you want to call it and we bounced we didn't hold but that it, it looked like it was missing support, didn't hold it, broke through. When we did broke, break through, went down almost all the way to that 29, uh, what is this? 29, 129 level, which is the bottom of that sideways movement. And we bounced all the way back up to 29.3, which is another level I've marked. Uh, and then held that as support for a little bit and then ripped through. And when we ripped through, we went all the way down to 28,918. If you guys got in on this level for a swing trade, well done. If you shorted from the top of 30 grand, well done. My point, look at how perfect it's following these trend lines, these support resistant levels, excuse me. I don't know, man. I try and keep it simple. At any point in time, would this be a potential short? 
potential short potential short to the bottom of where we keep bouncing right potential long right here um to maybe run back up to that 30 grand level if you're opening up a long right here or if you did catch this because it touched it perfectly 28918 and you do a leverage long you know 10x potentially give you 30 percent 40 percent why not something to think about guys again i'm not expecting anything too crazy or volatile uh, that doesn't mean it can't happen um, but from the looks of it at least on the four hour we're probably just going to continue to range rolling into the weekend it could get a little bit wonkier who knows if we do roll over like i've said because we are we're, we're definitely in a downtrend now guys um, and I'm not really seeing any kind of like trend reversal patterns or anything like that. If we do roll over, keep your eye on these levels. 28413, 27.9, we'll just call it 28 even, somewhere in between there, and potentially down to 27.5. What would 27.5 be from where we're at right now? just under a six percent pullback it is very possible um, and a lot of people are calling for it sorry and i know i sound kind of i'm not sad or anything today guys i'm just i'm not awake yet um so i'm not like super exciting sounding <laughs> but that's it guys um if we do roll over potentially break through these levels that i have marked keep an eye on them right um if, if you have a chart pulled open mark these levels these are the levels I, i'm looking at Clearly, they mean something because this is where we always break in our candles on all of my levels. This is where we bounce. So, keep an eye on them for potentials to open positions. Outside of that, though, I say this every day. This isn't financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This is all for entertainment purposes only. Um, nor am I a good trader. I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time. Don't listen to me. I'm just some dude in a room making YouTube videos. Outside of that, like I said, if we do move up, look for a potential rejection of a 30 grand. If we break the 30 grand, look for a bounce. Look for something like this. If we go, because this is a, a downwards trend, right? If we break above 30, look for a potential turning it into support or a potential move continuing to the upside. Um, if not, I would just expect ranging, which if you want to play those, you can long to bottom short to top long to bottom short to top etc etc okay moving on united states district or district department of justice <laughs> is concerned about a run on binance should prosecutors bring fraud charges report officials reportedly speculated an indictment against uh binance in the u.s could cause a run on the exchange similar to what happened with crypto exchange ftx in november of 2022 what you fucking think there these guys are intelligent. Uh-oh. The United States Department of Justice reportedly considering charging cryptocurrency exchange Binance with fraud, but hesitating based on costs to the consumers. Bullshit. According to an August 2nd semaphore report citing people familiar with the matter, Justice Department officials are concerned about an indictment against Binance causing a run on the exchange similar to what happened with FTX in November of 2022. They are reportedly considering fines or non-prosecution agreements for Binance rather than criminal charges in an effort to reduce the harm to consumers. Binance was already reportedly the target of a criminal probe in the U.S. for allegedly violating country's sanctions on Russia. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission also filed a lawsuit against the crypto exchange in June for allegedly offering unregistered securities and operating illegally. And the Commodity Futures Trading Commission targeted the exchange and CEO CZ in March for allegedly violating trading and derivatives regulations. It's unclear what impact filing criminal charges against Binance or CZ in the U.S. could have on the crypto space. Former FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried and former Celsius Network CEO Alex Mashinsky are both facing fraud charges for allegedly illegally illegal actions at their respective companies. Yeah, the difference was they were leveraging customers money and were completely broke and had no way to pay their customers back i don't think that's the case for binance i think they're just trying to 
target a whale, get money, and cause FUD. That's really all I think is going on here. At the time of publication, no charges have been filed against crypto exchange Binance or Binance US, yet you're going to put it out in the media that you're thinking about doing it. They're just, dude, they're just stirring up shit. Um, the Global Exchange announced the launch of Binance Japan on August 1st, but reports have also been circulating suggesting that the company conducted billions of dollars of crypto-related business in China and considered shuttering Binance US uh, to protect itself. Binance has denied China reports and provided no comment on the report that it considered shuttering its US business. Uh, the price of BNB dropped roughly 2.5% immediately following the release of the Semaphore report and is... Uh, $240.42 at the time of publication. The price of Bitcoin followed a similar pattern, dropping from $29,331 to $28,903 within an hour of the report breaking. I don't think anything is going to come of this, guys. It sounds like a big nothing burger, and they just want to stir up some FUD to try and shake the market a little bit more. All right, moving on. Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, urge closure of $50 billion crypto tax gap. This should be interesting. United States Senator, including Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Senators, including Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Oh, there's some winners, let me tell you. Have claimed that crypto tax evaders are siphoning off billions from the government. Oh, how dare you? How dare you take your money back from the government? It's their money. How do these people even get elected? A number of United States lawmakers have urged the Internal Revenue Service and the Treasury to speed up the closure of tax loopholes being exploited by crypto tax evaders. In an August 1st letter to Democratic Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, Bob Casey, Richard Blumethal warned that the top officials of both agencies that they must swiftly act on a new tax regulations. Uh, the senators claim there is a $50 billion crypto tax gap and the IRS and Treasury risk missing out on roughly $1.5 billion in tax revenue for the 2024 financial year if a tax policy update is delayed. I can't believe I'm even reading this shit. Do, does this... Do these politicians that supposedly get voted in by the people serve the people at all with any of this? Why are you voting for these people that only care about how much money they're bringing? This is all they care about. They're literally in Congress not fighting for your benefit, not fighting to lower your taxes, not fighting... No, for more money for themselves. This is insane. Like, I, I, I want to rip my hair out. I can't believe this is shit that's going on right now. And this is like normal. Anyway, I will qu quit rambling and, and move on. Quote, unquote, given the chance, tax evaders and the crypto in intermediaries willing to aid them will continue to game the system, exploit loopholes, and siphon off billions of dollars a year from the U.S. government. You must not give them the chance. Let's pause. Siphon off billions of dollars a year from the U.S. government. Fuck you. You mean keep our money from you? Listen to these people. They act as if it's a guarantee that it's their money. You mean the money that we earned? This is what I always find so interesting about these people that push these heavy tax burdens on uh, traders and investors. Like, especially us in the retail space because we get hit the hardest. I take my hard-earned money, money that I went to work for, that I busted my ass for, gave up gave up my time, gave up my life for to make, and I take a chance and invest it, or let's not even say invest it, just to say put it into something and assume exponential risk. I assume all the risk. Now, if I win and make money, the government is the first one there with their hand out going, where's our cut? Siphoning off billions of dollars a year from the U.S. government. It's our money. But if I lose that money, are you going to, are you going to, you know, can I get paid back? And take another, take another trip to, to investment town? No. This is insane that we allow this to happen as, as a people in the United States that supposedly have rights that supposedly vote these people in office. If this is, there, I'll tell you what, if I lived wherever these people are senators, if I if, if they were in my state or whatever, 
I would literally be calling these people every day, being like, "You ain't getting my fucking vote. You keep this shit up to push more taxes, raise taxes, etc." And aren't they Democrats? Aren't they supposed to be for the people? These guys are fucking crazy. Do not vote for these turds. This is insane. All right. Senators are referring to a new tax law outlined in the Senate's $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill passed in August of 2021. The bill aimed to increase a tax reporting requirements for businesses acting as crypto brokers. This is bullshit. This is all going to trickle down to the retail investors. Nearly two years have passed since the laws uh, since the law was enacted and the implementation deadlines is less than six months away. But Treasury has yet to publish proposed rules. Uh, the letter reads, uh, while the bill has been signed into law. The Treasury and the IRS are yet to release their new tax rules. The agencies have until December 31st to publish and implement the rules, but the lawmakers are requesting they be put in place much sooner. Of course they are. They want money. Elizabeth Warren has been an outspoken critic of cryptocurrency industry uh, in the U.S., going as far as forming an quote-unquote anti-crypto army. What an idiot. Uh, as the centerpiece of her Senate re-election campaign. Who is voting for this person? If you hold any crypto at all, shit, if you hold any investments, why would you vote for this moron? God, we need more money for us. Like, that's literally her campaign. Give us more money. Uh, while Sanders has been more publicly quiet than crypto compared to his Democratic counterparts, he has co-signed a number of letters headed by Warren seeking to impose tighter restrictions on the space. A recent poll commissioned by Grayscale Investments found that 59% of Democrats and 51% of Republicans consider crypto to be the future of finance, suggesting that Warren's stance may not prove to be a vote winner. Fuck, these people are so out of touch. Uh, among the majority of the population. You fucking think. So how are they getting elected into office? Oh, I don't know. Seems to be rigged to me, but I can't say that. You're far left or far right or what the fuck ever if you say that. These people. Sorry, guys. I'm very opinionated on this shit. But I don't care if you're going after fucking businesses or retail for more taxes. The fact that the, the United States is so in debt and keeps deflating the value of the dollar, yet feels the need to push more tax laws, whether it be on businesses or fucking uh, the general public, is absolutely insane. What the fuck are you doing with the money you have right now? How are you? It, you're clearly blowing it. Like, and just printing more. But no, we need more taxes. We're losing $50 billion a year. Okay, look, can we focus on what the fuck you're spending your money on? No, we can't. We can't do that. No, that's not allowed. Fuck no. We just need to get more money out of the people. Whew. All right, last but not least, guys. I'm sorry. Elon Musk tweets and Twitter bot spam influences altcoin prices, says the study. The study also questioned whether FTX or Alameda had any role in coordinating Twitter bot activity for its own gain. Crypto spouting Twitter bots could be playing a much larger role in artificially inflating the price of altcoins than previously understood, a new study has suggested. Using a sample of various FTX-listed cryptocurrencies in a study published on August 2nd, the Network Con Contagion Research Institute, the NCRI, said it analyzed over 3 million tweets posted from January 1st, 2019 to January 27th of 2023 involving 18 altcoins. The study found that Twitter bot activity played a crucial role in amplifying the value of these cryptocurrencies, including... Sandbox, Gala, Gods Unchained, looks rare, uh, with half the coins showing signs of price influence as a revolt, as a result of tweet bot activity. It also found that these uh, inauthentic tweets would increase after FTX posted about the token on social media, which it said raises questions about whether FTX or Alameda Research could have played a role in coordinating the bot activity. In fact. For half of the FTX listed coins in the sample, inauthentic tweet volume showed signs uh, of forecasting subsequent price. This suggests that inauthentic networks successfully and deliberately deployed to influence changes in FTX coin prices, it said, adding. It's been the question, did FTX or Alameda engage in coordinating an inauthentic activity on social uh, media to artificially inflate market values? Probably. The study also looked into the impact of bot activity and Elon Musk's crypto adjacent tweets on two recent meme coin meme coins, suggesting the price of Pepe and Psyop have been influenced. God, what a trash. A piece of trash. Influenced by both these factors. NCRI detected a surge of newly created bot accounts before the launch of Pepe, which 
all went on to tweet about one of the two coins. Pepe coin is up, leveraged memes, and were also boosted by two of Musk's tweets and seemingly gave a nod to each of the tokens, the study said. Musk's May 13 tweet of a Pepe meme caused the token's price to jump over 50% within 24 hours. This is what's interesting about people. People see this shit and they, they just ape in the coins, and I don't know why. Pepe memes have been around forever, since way before Pepe was a, 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 a meme token. So how, I mean, don't get me wrong, Elon does some fucking weird shit that definitely manipulates the market and pumps coins, but the, I don't really consider this to be one of them. Alongside Musk's tweet, this is just humans being dumb and seeing this and trying to read into shit too much, in my opinion. Alongside Musk's tweet, account creation uh, surge, surges took place a day prior to Pepe's April 17th launch, which suggests an orchestrated effort to use bots to amplify the token's popularity. I mean, that's very speculative. The study's researchers said that this phenomenon could also affect stocks and other securities. They pointed to the social media frenzy in 2022 surrounding so-called meme stocks such as GameStop and AMC. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. It's very speculative, like, to the highest degree. All right, back to Bitcoin one last time. I want to see the bottom of this this channel right here hold if I want any bullish moment, momentum or movement or we dip down again one last time to 28918 and then bounce and then move forward. If we lose 28918 and put in some candles below it um I would I would be expecting some lower movement. But again, uh this is why this is red. This is like, in my opinion, the last line of defense before we definitely just get to 27.5. This 28.413, keep your eye on it. We keep getting closer and closer to it. Even though we're wicking, we're slowly getting closer and closer to it. I think if we lose that, it's about the middle of this giant run up with this low volume movement here. Um, we could potentially see a cascade down to 27.5 real fast. That's it. That's all I got, guys. Um, per usual, if you enjoy the content I provide for you here every morning on Boring Crypto IO, please follow me and subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for notifications, watch, like, share all the videos on your social platforms, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. I thank each and every one of you for being here. I'm out of here. <laughs>